the praise team is going to minister this and somewhere in this the relationship between us and them I'm going to pray but I want you to hear and imagine
is the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. The mystery of our faith being poured out upon you. Even across the internet, the Spirit of God is pouring grace. It's pouring healing. It's pouring joy. It's pouring forgiveness. It's imparting strength and determination and victory. It's here. It's present. It's available. In the name of Jesus now. Just a moment, I'm going to send you back to your seat. I want you, this is what I want you to do in this week, in this week. I want you to pick up this Psalm 13 text. I want you to read it. If you get the opportunity, I want you to go back through the sermon. We don't write sermons for one hearing. And then I want you to dig up Kurt Carr's I will trust in God again. And no matter what the devil does, no matter what your coworkers say, no matter the voice inside of yourself that tells you you're not anything, that you're an imposter, that you don't have the courage or the strength to be what you need to be, in this moment, I declare the devil is a lie. I will trust the devil is a lie. I, I've got what I need on the inside. I am a victim. I, I, am, I am capable. I am competent. I can handle this. I will trust in God again. And if you and I and we together will discover that scars can heal. We're scarred, but we're healed. We can show people the marks, but they've been healed. God, I thank you for this time today. We're, we're not done in service. I need to open the doors of the church, so I don't want you to go home. I'm scared you're going to go home. Don't go home yet. Let me, let me get the doors of the church open. But I want you. Before you leave this altar, you know, it's hard in the age of COVID to hug people and do some of the stuff we used to do, but use your eyes and let somebody know I'm with you. I feel you. I don't need to know what it is, but you, matter of fact, you might even say it to them. You will trust in God again. Speak a word of encouragement to somebody before you leave this altar. I don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm scared of the hug, but you know what I mean. You know, say something to somebody. I don't. It's got to encourage somebody, lift up somebody in the name of Jesus. And then, after you've encouraged somebody, you can then go to your seat because you're gonna help me open the doors of the church. I'm gonna encourage somebody. Encourage, speak to somebody. Smile at somebody.
That was the Bishop and Lady Kim. Take a nap. Take a nap. Get some rest.